in this video we're going to take a look at how to write a James Bond theme. Now, with a lot of James Bond theme songs, I think there's 24 in all, they all have a very similar quality about them and they're always um, really recognisable as belonging to James Bond. And especially some of the latest ones sound very similar to each other, but you can't quite put your finger on why. So if we take something like Another Way to Die by Jack White, now that's another important point. If you use the word die or the word gun, comes in handy if you write the James Bond theme. But we've got this. Which is very distinct. And I like how the some of the latest ones have got a bit of a raw edge to them. Um, but that. almost fit in couldn't it uh, which is quite interesting but after you've done that you've got B G E in this case it's B5 G5 now Chris Cornell's you know my name uh, which I always felt sorry for this song because I like it and yet it always gets like voted bottom of the poll for um, James Bond songs but I remember uh, when I first heard it I instantly recognised it was Chris Cornell off Soundgarden <clears throat> but and you've got that B5 J5 E5 so again that's why uh, I get them mixed up uh, funnily enough as if they're merging into each other he's got this Which kind of reminds us a little bit of the kind of similar thing. Um, from Live and Let Die, which is probably the the greatest Bond theme ever, apart from the actual original. And the one thing you'll notice about Bond themes as well is the, the weave in and out of emotions. There's always this suspense, which is also a really good point to take away from them. Now, if we take something like Skyfall, which would seem completely different to Another Way to Die and You Know My Name. What's interesting with that is you start off with holding the B minor chord down, hitting the B note. G note and the bottom E note. So essentially B, G, E. So again you've got the G, sorry, B minor, G, E. Which is quite unusual because in the key of B minor you would have an E minor chord, not an E. So that's quite why it, it stands out. Now, if you look at one of the latest ones, which is Billie Eilish, No Time to Die. <clears throat> Starts off with A minor. C major 7. A minor. B7. With a lot of bar music, a lot of major 7 chords in there, because they've got a very... Like a, sus like a hanging type sound uh, for suspense. So A minor. C major 7. A minor. B7. Now if you go to the verse, it's interesting because it goes A minor, C major 7, A, and then drops to A minor. So that A minor, C major 7, A. If you put that in the key of B minor, E, F, G, A, B, go up 5, so you've got B minor. You take the C major 7 up, C, D, E, F, G. G major 7. Take E up, A, B, C, D, E. So you end up with B minor. Same chord progression, which is really interesting. Now, if we look at Radiohead Spectre, which I don't think was used in the movie, I think it got rejected. But that's an interesting one from the aspect. We start off with a G major 7. To E minor 9. So G 
G. We've got E minor there. It then moves, D, I think it's D slash F sharp. And a D major 7 slash F sharp to a D6. But then it goes B minor, E minor 7, G major 7, E minor 9. So again, B minor, G, E. So that one went G major 7, E minor 9. Now if we look at writing on the wall, by what's his face, so I can't remember the name of just off the top of your head, you can let us know in the comments because I always forget people's names. That one actually goes E minor, G major 7. Which is almost the, the other way around to the way Radiohead done. But again, E minor. So starting off with a minor, uh, minor key, in the major 7, gives it a kind of hang and feel. Suspenseful. Suspenseful. C major 7. B suspended 4. C major 7. B. So these are all the type of chords that you're going to want to look at for writing a James Bond style thing. Now if we look at one of the most famous, because we really just look at probably the more modern uh, ones, if we look at something like Goldfinger, which is E to C, if you put that E, F, G, E, B, and do a B, C, D, E, F, G, B to G, Goldfinger, got that B to G again. Now this is interesting, if we go to the original key, B minor, E, a, I like this chord, E flat 7 to B7. Sorry. So when playing around, don't necessarily stick with all the chords in the same key. Use major 7s, use 7 chords. And one of the best chords in out of all the Bond songs is which leaves you hanging and takes you straight into the beginning of a movie. Now this chord has umpteen different names and uh, I'm not going to name you because of the master name what it is but we've got the 7th fret of B, 8th fret of G, 9th fret of D, 10th fret of the A and then the bottom A string open and that's the one that you can use so yes, I'll know. so as always thank you for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments and as always thank you for watching